future tense. I shall go to watch a movie tomorrow. Will you go alone? No, I shall go with my family. I'm also planning to watch a movie next week with my friend. She told me that she will be getting a break next week. Which movie will you watch? We shall decide after reading the reviews of all new movies. Probably by then we shall have watched another movie. In the dialogues, the boy and the girl are speaking about what will happen in the future. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in future tense. I shall go to watch a movie tomorrow. Will you go alone? No, I shall go with my family. She told me that she will be getting a break next week. Which movie will you watch? We shall decide after reading the reviews of all new movies. Probably by then we shall have watched another movie. Definition Future tense speaks about something that will take place in the time to come. There are four kinds of future tenses. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Let us look at a few sentences. Atul will return your book tomorrow. Fatima will be practicing for the concert from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. We shall have reached home by the time it rains. She will have been studying in the school for five years by the time she is 15 next year. In the first sentence, will return is simple future tense as it speaks about an action that will take place in the future. In the next sentence, will be practicing is future continuous tense as it speaks about an action in progress for some time in the future. In the third sentence, shall have reached is future perfect tense, as it speaks about an action in the future that will be completed before another action in the future takes place. In the fourth sentence, will have been studying in future perfect continuous tense as it speaks about an action that will continue in the future and will be progress when another action begins in the future. Here are few more examples of use of future tense. Tanisha will take the plate from you when you finish your dinner. Simple future. We shall be studying together till 10 p.m. Future Present tenses I am doing I do I am working on a project tonight with Sumedh. Come for a movie with me. I am leaving for Mumbai tomorrow morning. I can't. I have to complete the project today. Grading starts tomorrow. I want to spend some time with you. What time does your train leave tomorrow? My train leaves at 10 a.m. In the dialogues, the boys have used present continuous and present simple tense for talking about future events. Here are some examples of sentences showing use of present continuous and simple present. Definition Present continuous tense is used for talking about pre-arranged future events. Present simple tense is used to talk about scheduled future events. Let us look at a few sentences. Karan is hosting a party for his friends tonight. My school is organizing a dance competition for all students tomorrow. Our exams finish next week. Their college closes for summer vacations this Friday. In the first sentence, is hosting is present continuous tense and speaks about a pre-arranged future event. In the next sentence, is organizing is present continuous tense and speaks about a future event arranged beforehand. In the third sentence, finish is simple present tense and speaks about a scheduled future arrangement. In the last sentence, closes is simple present tense and speaks about an already fixed future schedule. Here are few more examples of sentences using present continuous and simple present tense 
to speak about future arrangements. Gayatri and her friend are leaving for Kolkata tomorrow. The flight departs at 10 p.m. tonight. Will shall. Will you have tea? I shall have coffee. I shall order a sandwich too. I want to eat something too, but I have a lunch scheduled with my clients. They will be here in half an hour. I want to attend your lunch meeting. You shall definitely do so. In the dialogues, the two girls have used will and shall to speak about the future. Here are some examples of sentences with will and shall. Will you have tea? I shall have coffee. I shall order a sandwich too. They will be here in half an hour. You shall definitely do so. Definition Will and shall are used to speak about the future. To convey something that is going to take place in the future, will is used with he, she, it, you, they, any name and any relationship. To convey something that is going to take place in the future, shall is used with I and we. When a sense of duty or importance has to be conveyed in the future or to speak about something that must happen in the future, shall is used with he, she, it, you, they, any name and any relationship. In such cases, will is used with I and we. Let us look at a few sentences. I will complete my project today, no matter what difficulties I face. We shall go for picnic next week. You shall attend the class tomorrow. They will bake a cake in the evening. In the first sentence, will has been used with I to speak about something that must definitely be done in the future. In the next sentence, Shall has been used with we to speak about an event that will take place in the future. In the third sentence, shall has been used with we to convey a sense of duty in the future. In the fourth sentence, will has been used with they to tell about something that will happen in the future. Here are few more examples of sentences with will and shall. Rama will wake up at 5 p.m. They shall report for the meeting tomorrow. My sister will go to London next month. I will fight this injustice. We shall have dinner together. Will and be going too. The school is going to take the children on a trip to Agra. The children will enjoy the trip very much. I think. The management is going to declare a holiday for those teachers and students who decide to stay back. Most of the students will go. I am not sure. I believe the principal is going to make the announcement shortly. I hope everyone in the staff will go. In the conversation, Anand and Jeevan have spoken about something that will take place in the future by using will and be going to. Here are some examples of sentences with will and be going to. The school is going to take the children on a trip to Agra. The children will enjoy the trip very much. I think the management is going to declare a holiday for those teachers and students who decide to stay back. Most of the students will go. I believe the principal is going to make the announcement shortly. I hope everyone in the staff will go. Definition Both will and be going to are used to speak about future events. Will is used when the decision to do something in the future is taken at the time of speaking. Be going to is used when the decision to do something in the future has already been taken before the point of speaking. Be going to is also used when an event that is to take place in the future 
is seen to be a result of what is happening in the present. Let us look at a few sentences. The sky is clear and I think it is going to be a lovely day for picnic. Yasmin will complete her project tomorrow. I am going to visit an orphanage next Saturday. In the first sentence, is going to has been used since the future happening can be seen to be a result of the present situation. In the next sentence, will has been used since the decision to do something in the future is taken at the time of speaking. In the last sentence, I'm going to has been used since the decision to do something in the future has already been taken before the time of speaking. Here are few examples of sentences with will and be going to. She is going to hold a storytelling workshop next week. The teacher is going to scold me. Will be doing and will have done. Sudhir will be practicing for the concert most of the time this month. The choir will also be joining him in the practice sessions. I don't think so. The choir will be called later. By the time the choir comes for practice, Sudhir will have finished with his practice sessions. I wish my parents were here for the concert. But they will have left for Delhi before the concert takes place. Will they be travelling alone? Yes. I will be working on my project next month, so I don't have time. In the conversation, Neil and Jharna have used, will be doing and will have done to speak about events in progress for some time in the future and also for events that will be completed at a particular point in the future. Here are some examples of sentences with will be doing and will have done. Sudhir will be practicing for the concert most of the time this month. The choir will also be joining him in the practice sessions. By the time the choir comes for practice, Sudhir will have finished with his practice sessions. But they will have left for Delhi before the concert takes place. Will they be travelling alone? I will be working on my project next month, so I don't have time. Definition Will be doing is future progressive tense and is used for actions that will be in progress for some time in the future. Will have done is future perfect tense and used for actions that will be completed before something else happens in the future. Let us look at a few sentences. John will be exercising in the evening from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Sally will have taken a bath by the time her friend arrives. Kate will be giving lectures on hygiene and sanitation this month. In the first sentence, will be exercising has been used to convey that an action will be in progress for some time in future. In the next sentence, will have taken has been used to convey that an action in the future will be complete perfectly before another future action takes place. In the last sentence, will be giving has been used to speak about an action that will continue for some time in future days. Here are a few examples of sentences with will be doing and will have done. Jeet will be writing his exam from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. When I do, when I have done, when and if. I will go to the market when it stops raining. I have a dance class, but I will go only if it stops raining by 4 p.m. It is already 3 p.m. The roads are flooded with water. We will be able to step out of the house. Only when the water has drained off. If it rains anymore, nobody will be able to go anywhere. In the dialogues, Kanishka and Vindhya have used when and if along with present perfect and simple present tenses to speak about future events without the use of future tense. 
Here are some examples of sentences with when and if using present perfect and simple present tenses to talk about the future. Definition When indicates surety. It is used for things which are certain to take place. If indicates possibility. It is used for things that are likely to happen. When can be used with present perfect and simple present tense to speak about something that is sure to happen in the future. If can be used with simple present to speak about something likely to happen in the future. Let us look at a few sentences. I will invite him when I return home in the evening. I will go to my friend's house when I have completed my homework. Harish will go to Mumbai tomorrow if he gets the train ticket. In the first sentence, when has been used with simple present tense to speak about something that will happen in the future for sure. In the next sentence, when has been used with present perfect tense to speak about something that is sure to happen in the future. In the third sentence, if has been used with simple present tense to speak about something that will probably happen in the future. Here are few more examples of sentences using present perfect and simple perfect tense with when and if to speak about the future. Richa will cook food when she has completed her research work. They will enjoy a lot when they reach the water park. Jaya will wash clothes if she gets time in the evening.